Hey, what's up guys? Pase Baller here. We are now on this 8th game or 8th prediction of this January 5th, 2022 NBA game day. This is the game between OKC Thunder with a record of 13-23 and, and Minnesota Timberwolves, the home team, having a record of 17 wins and 20 losses. This one will be played 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. And before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please, click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings first for these two teams. For Minnesota Timberwolves, they are at number 9 in the West. Their last 10 games, uh, they have won 5. That's pretty decent. And approaching this game, they're actually coming off a win. For OKC Thunder, uh, they are at number 13. For the last 10 games, it's pretty much the same. They have won 5. Uh, but approaching this game, they are, they are actually coming off a loss. Right, so Minnesota Timberwolves, they do have the home court advantage. I gotta say that they also have uh, the advantage in terms of momentum because they're coming off a win. Um, as for fatigue factor, um, both teams just came from rest. So uh, let's just uh, skip that part. And I'm just pulling up the information for uh, the injury list for both teams. OKC Thunder, uh, Dort, and Robinson Earl uh, would not be available for OKC. So uh, I'm happy to see that OKC only got two players um, in the injury list. And for Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, McKinley Wright IV, uh, he remains out for the game because of COVID. While Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell, they're one and two punch. Um, they have already uh, cleared um, the health protocols, but uh, they are still in game time decision to see if they are actually conditioned to you know to suit up and play. So one con one confirmed out for Minnesota Timberwolves, and there are still two which are, who are game time decision. But I have a you know I have a feeling that you know they will be you know at least one of these two players would actually be playing. For Minnesota. All right, and the spread it's minus eight earlier. Let me see if you know um, if it has changed or something. It's minus eight point five as we speak, and that's uh. Let me let me refresh just to make sure. That is correct. Minus eight point five now for Minnesota Timberwolves. All right, so. My my prediction on this is that uh, Minnesota Timberwolves uh, they would you know they will just be a, st a stronger team, it's, it's especially Carl uh, Anthony Towns possibly Carl Anthony Towns and D'Angelo Russell will be playing. Whenever those three are actually present for Minnesota Timberwolves, man, they are really dangerous. You saw what happened last time, right? I mean, uh, on their last game, they only had Carl, An uh, they only had Anthony Edwards, but you know their their gameplay is totally different, man. They have a lot of options now. Uh, plus, Patrick Ber Beverly uh, has become a two-way player. Before, he's just focused on uh, the defense, but right now, man, he, he became a deadly shooter. Uh, now. Imagine if Carl uh, Anthony Towns will be playing um, at the same time D'Angelo Russell, uh, so that you know the the entire gameplay would be controlled by a by a scoring point guard. Man, Minnesota Timberwolves would really be deadly. I don't think OKC Thunder would have a chance beating OKC Thunder, especially um, two of their best players in Dort and uh, Earl would be out. But Here's the situation. Uh, for OKC Thunder, I don't know if you guys have noticed. For for OKC Thunder, they lose a lot of games, but they win a lot of spreads. <laughs> that's uh, that, that that's uh, that's um, uh, that's a proof of how pesky OKC Thunder is. You know, they don't give up. They just they just keep on playing and playing until sometimes the spread is actually covered. Even though at one point the lead is already at 20 points or 18 points, you know, they just don't stop playing. I'm talking about OKC Thunder. Now in this game, it's minus 8.5. I know there's a possibility that Minnesota's Big 3 would be playing, but uh, they have been out for a while. So I don't think, you know, uh, if ever Minnesota will win, I don't think it will, it will be like a blowout, like a 15-point win or a 20-point win. So I'm going to side with OKC Thunder here to cover the spread at 8.5. Uh, I'm looking at the possibility that Minnesota will win, but OKC Thunder will get the spread. Thunder plus 8.5. OKC 
plus 8.5. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.